11 years ago, I uploaded this video tutorial on how to design a custom font using the letter R. Now that video got 600 plus thousand views since then. And a lot of people ended up using it. Now fast forward to today. And I've heard in the last week that there are AI font generators. And I'm like, wow, that's really cool. I wanted to make a video about it. And so this morning I found the actual service. It's called drfonts.com. And I was kind of disappointed because I discovered you have to upload a full character set and then it converts that into a working font apparently. Well, when I was researching this on X, I came across a post right here from Dudu. Now, this is somebody that I follow. In fact, Dudu owns Tolfolio.io, which is a really cool service. Definitely check it out. But he made a actual tutorial on X about how you can make a font with AI, specifically with ChatGPT. And so there's basically a prompt right here in which you customize the center portion where it says use a pixelated aesthetic uh, with black glyphs and et cetera, et cetera. And this is the part where you kind of just customize it. Well, what I did is I used that prompt and I also fed in with the prompt that custom letter R that I made 11 years ago that got so popular. And I was like, okay, it might not be able to generate the full character set. It's probably gonna be crap. And this is what it came up with. I was like, wow, that's really actually pretty decent. I, you know, barring the fact that there's two J's, that that's not a big deal. I can just remove that. And so now I have a full character set that I can then paste into and upload to Dr. Fonts. And we'll see if it could take an image of this font that was generated by one letter R that I designed like a million years ago into a working font. And here's the thing, I haven't tested that yet. We are going to discover if drfonts.com, this AI font generator, will actually do what we want it to do. So if you go to drfonts.com, you can create a free account. There's a 24 hour free account that does not require credit card. Um, by the way, this is not a sponsored post. Um, and, and I just wanna see if this works. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's hit new project. Uh, I'm just gonna say retro R create. All right, so I'm gonna import PNG. Here it is. All right, so auto AZ, we have a bunch of different options. I think that this area could probably be improved in the editor a little, editor a little bit. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is, and we're just gonna hit start extraction. Here we go. What's happening? Why is there, why is it, what the hell? What's going on here? Oh, so there's a bunch of blank cards. Oh, Jesus. All right, so look at this G, it is all busted up, man. It is chopped, as my teens would say. It's like, what the hell? And when you click apply, there's no indication if it actually worked, um, edit. What the hell, apply. I don't see any type of smoothing. I, I'm a little bit disappointed because it did chop up the fucking letters, like <laughs> the S right here. I mean, we don't get it because they're, I guess they're just, if they're disconnected, I guess the AI has a hard time. Start extraction, nowhere to download the font. I just get this preview with a bunch of busted ass letters. What the fuck, man? Oh my God. Write text. <laughs> Dr. Fonts. <laughs> All right, that's terrible. But you, you know what? I will say that if we go back to ChatGPT, this right here is really cool. The fact that you can just, you know, take a, a general idea for a single letter and get something, it's not perfect, trust me. I mean, look at the S right here. Like, that's busted. Uh, the fact that you can get something that is pretty close to what you want. Now, obviously an experienced type designer would look at this and be like, dude, like this is junk, you know, and like, I get it. But if you have a really simple, quick thing that you need, maybe uh, a few letters for, like for an advertisement graphic or something like that, this could actually be usable. So um, I'm hoping maybe Dr. Fonts will reach out and be like, no, you should have done X, Y, and Z better because I don't like uploading videos where things don't work well like I expected to. Um, it kind of just kills the whole vibe of the video. 
But um, the fact that we can do this and, I, and that fact that I stumbled across Doodoo's uh, actual post about you know, how you can use ChatGPT to generate fonts, especially with likeness when you upload a reference image, that's really freaking cool.